Come on guys, let's look at this question from May 2024 examination. This is question number 6A and this question is for 4 marks. So, what does the question say? They have given the information about a company called Color Limited and Red Limited. They have told the cost of the machine, lease term, fair market value, unguaranteed restful value and internal rate of return. There is little more of information. Quickly come to the last line. It says, you are required to analyze whether the lease constitutes finance lease and also compute unearned finance income if any. Very similar questions we have done in our class. This is question number 1.5, 1.6. 1.7, 1.8. See, 1.8 inter November 11 question, very similar. 1.7, again, they've asked us to compute unearned finance income and check whether it is finance lease or operating lease. Question number 1.7 from our class material. Question number 1.6 from our class material. All the three are very similar to the this examination now. Question. Shall we quickly solve it without wasting any time? How much is our uh, lease term? Three years. What is the useful life of the asset? Have they given that information? Yes, here. Useful life of the asset is 5 years. Lease term is 3 years. So, I will say that the expected useful life of the asset is 5 years. Whereas, the lease period is 3 years. Can I say 3 by 5? 60% of the useful life of the asset, it is under this particular lease. So, this is giving us a hint that this is finance lease. However, we will check one more condition. Whether the present value of minimum lease payments, does it come up to substantial part of the cost of the asset? We need to further check couple of other conditions, whether the asset is of specific nature, whether the residual value collected and guaranteed by the lessee to the lesser, is it lesser than the fair value? Those data will not be provided to us in these kind of questions. We will be only checking term and we will also check whether the present value of lease payment does it come to good substantial portion of the cost? Cost is made available to us. How much is the cost of the asset? 18 lakh. How much is present value of MLP? MLP is minimum lease payments which is promised by the lessee to be received by lesser. That is to be paid by lessee. Lessee will pay lease rentals plus guaranteed residual value. Lease rentals. Have they given us lease rentals? No, they haven't. Have they given us lease rentals? Uh, Five years? No. In this kind of question, it won't be given. If you remember, we take present value of gross investment as the cost of the asset and then from there we eliminate the unguaranteed restful value to arrive at present value of MLP. From there we eliminate the guaranteed restful value if any and then come to the present value of MLP and that will present value of MLP will become our present value of annual lease rentals divided by annuity factor to arrive at the installment amount each installment and then multiply with number of installments, add 0 which is GRV to arrive at MLP, add UGRV whatever will be provided to arrive at gross investment. That gross investment and present value of gross investment difference will become unearned finance income second part of the question and in the midst we have also found present value of MLP that will be considered in this table here. Shall I do both? I will do it the method that we personally like doing in the class here 1, 2, 3. We don't know how much is the lease rental. To this, we are going to add guaranteed restful value, which we for sure know it is zero because they have not provided. And once I do this, I will get MLP. If I find it a discounted factor, I will get present value of MLP. This is what is required for me in checking that condition. But the second part of the question further wants us to compute unearned finance income. So to this MLP, I will add unguaranteed restful value to arrive at gross investment. The same thing, if I find at present value, it becomes present value of gross investment. Difference between this gross investment and present value of gross investment is my unearned finance income. In the absence of any specific information, we know that present value of gross investment is assumed to be equal to cost. In this case, there is no information on lease rental. So, I will assume present value of gross investment as equal to cost. Certain times, the question may just to give that statement, no? The lease payments are structured in such a way that the lease rentals plus the residual value will be equal to cost of the asset. Answer for our implicit rate of return question, that is not there here. But that is our basis assumption. We have done three questions of exact same type. How much is the cost of the asset? The cost of the asset is 18 lakh. So, I will take 18 lakh to be present value of gross investment. And unguaranteed residual value, yes, that is given to us, which is 2 lakh. 
and discounting has to be done at 12 percent they mentioned that internal rate of return is how much 12 percent but please don't try to do 12 percent by taking your calculator and then doing anathrana ide 1 divided by 1.12 don't do it this is not mine but please don't do it why the reason is for this 12 percent i just checked you won't get the number that they've given here you get slightly different number but let's not care whatever value they've given we'll use it Annuity factor for 3 years is 2.4018. For third year, it is 0.7118. They have given this. We will use it. For third year, how much is it? 0.7118. And for three years, annuity factor 2.4018. This is as per question. 2.4018 and 0.7118 at 12%. Don't try to do it in the calculator. You won't get it. Are you getting the same? Check mark. You won't get it. Getting it? Slightly different it was when I did it. It was slightly different. One digit was different at that. So, if you get the same, so absolutely fantastic. If you don't get it, same. Huh? Okay, then cool. Now, 0 into 0 0.7118 is 0. Here, uh, 2 lakh into 0 0.7118 is how much? 142,360. See, to present value of MLP, if you add unguaranteed residual value, that's when you get this present value of cross investment. Here, we already have present value of gross investment. We also have unguaranteed residual value. Can I take 18 lakh and then deduct 142,360 to arrive at present value of MLP? What do we get? 16,57,640 is lease rental plus guaranteed residual value at its present value. But in this question, there is no guaranteed residual value. So, what do we do? 16,57,640 minus 0. 16,57,640 is the present value of annual lease rentals. And annual lease rentals annuity factor is 2.4018. If I take 16,57,640 and divide it by 2.4018, I would get each lease rental amount. What do we get? 6,90,166. 6,90,166 is each lease rental. We are paying 3 of them. Do into 3. 20,70,497 is minimum lease payment. Add 2 lakhs to it, you will get gross investment 22,70,497. 22,70,497 is gross investment. 18 lakh is present value of gross investment. 22,70,497 minus 18 lakh will be our unearned finance income, which is 4,70,497. This part done. Take this present value of MLP 1657.640 to our initial table to identify that percentage. How much is cost of the asset? 18 lakh. Present value of MLP 16 lakh 57,640. 16 lakh 57,640. Okay. 16 lakh 57. 16 lakh 57,640. If in case you do this, you divide them. You would get 16,57,640 divided by 18 lakh. How much percentage? 92.09% point, of the payments are received against the cost of the asset. 60% of the useful life the asset is under lease. Can I conclude that it is finance lease? Without considering the other conditions, I can conclude this to be finance lease. First part of the answer correct, 2 marks. Second part of the answer, unearned finance income is 4,70,497, two more marks. Alternatively, instead of using the table, you can use the formula-based approach to do that. Yeah, that's it. Did you understand this, which I would show here? You can do this way also. Fair value of the asset minus present value of unguaranteed value. If you do, you will get it to be present value of MLP. Because fair value of the asset is nothing but present value of gross investment and uh, guaranteed residual value is zero and guaranteed residual value is uh, zero we are taking trying to take unguaranteed residual value if you deduct it you should have further deduct our guaranteed residual value which we won't do and uh, unearned finance income can be found this way annual lease payments which is equal to our present value of mlp the reason being there is no guaranteed residual value divided by annuity factor you get the same answer what we discussed before Doable? Yes, sir. Very good.